Matthew, can we talk about what happened earlier? Yeah, Dad. I know you are upset about the mess in the garage. I'm really sorry about that. I appreciate your apology, son. It's not just about the mess, though. It's that you did not respect the agreement we had about using my tools. I know, Dad. I should have asked you first. I thought I would clean everything up before you got home, but then I ran out of time. It's important to keep your word, Matthew. Trust is built on that. When you say you are going to do something, like taking care of my tools and cleaning up, I need to be able to trust that you will. You are right. I messed up. I will clean it all up now. And I will make sure to ask next time before I use something. I don't want to break your trust. Thank you, Matthew. I'm glad to hear you say that. Remember, making a mistake is okay as long as you learn from it. Thanks, Dad. I definitely learned from this. I will be more careful in the future. Good to hear, son. Now, let's get that garage cleaned up together. That sounds great. Thanks, Dad. Jacob, can we chat for a moment? Sure, Dad. What's up? I wanted to talk about what happened yesterday at dinner. Oh, right. I know I messed up. I should not have spoken to you and Mom like that. I'm really sorry. I appreciate you acknowledging that, Jacob. But it's not just about how you spoke to us. It's about the disrespect you showed. Yeah, I see that now. I was frustrated, but that's no excuse for being rude. Exactly. We all get frustrated sometimes, but we have to find better ways to deal with it. And part of being mature is recognizing when we have crossed a line and apologizing. I understand, Dad. I will try to handle my frustrations better in the future. And I promise I will apologize to Mom too. That's good to hear, Jacob. It takes strength to admit when we are wrong and to make things right. Remember, we are a team, and we need to treat each other with respect. I would not forget that, Dad. Thanks for talking to me about this. Of course, son. I am here to help you grow and learn. Now, let's go talk to your mom and make things right. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, Alex. Can we talk for a moment? Sure, Dad. What's on your mind? I wanted to discuss what happened yesterday when you borrowed my car. Oh, yeah. I know I did not handle that well. I'm sorry, Dad. Thank you for saying that, Alex. I appreciate it. But it's not just about the car. It's about the responsibility that comes with borrowing something important. I understand, Dad. I should have been more careful, especially knowing how much you value your car. Exactly. 
And it's not just about the damage, it's also about trust. When I lend you something, I trust you to take care of it. I know, Dad. I feel terrible about what happened. I promise I will be more responsible in the future, and I will make it up to you somehow. I'm glad to hear that, Alex. It takes courage to admit when we are wrong and to commit to doing better. Just remember, actions speak louder than words. I will, Dad. I will make sure to prove that I can be trusted. That's all I ask, son. I believe you can do it. Now, let's figure out how to fix the car together. Thanks, Dad. I really appreciate your understanding. Of course, Alex. We are a team, and we will get through this together. James, can we talk for a moment? Sure, Dad. What's up? I wanted to discuss what happened yesterday when you missed your curfew. Oh, yeah. I know I messed up. I am really sorry about that. Thanks for saying that, James. It's not just about the curfew, though. It's about communication and responsibility. I understand, Dad. I should have called to let you know I was going to be late. I realize now how important it is for you to know I'm safe. Exactly. When you do not communicate, it worries us. And it's not just about worrying, it's about trust. We trust you to be responsible and follow the rules we have set. I know, Dad. I feel terrible about making you worry. I promise I will be more responsible in the future and keep you informed. I appreciate that, James. It's good to hear you say that. Remember, trust is earned through actions, not just words. I would not forget that, Dad. I will make sure to show you that you can trust me. That's all I ask, son. Now, let's talk about how we can avoid this situation in the future. Yeah, let's do that. Thanks for understanding, Dad. Of course, James. We are a team, and we will figure this out together. Hey, Michael. Can we talk for a minute? Sure, Dad. What's on your mind? I wanted to talk about what happened last weekend when you had friends over. Oh, yeah. I know things got out of hand. I am really sorry about the mess and the noise. Thanks for saying that, Michael. It's not just about the mess and noise, though. It's about respecting our home and our neighbors. I understand, Dad. I should have been more considerate. I did not realize how loud we were being. Exactly. We have to think about how our actions affect others. And it's not just about the noise, it's about trust. We trust you to make responsible choices when you have friends over. I know, Dad. I feel terrible about what happened. 
I promise I will be more mindful in the future and make sure things don't get out of hand. I'm glad to hear that, Michael. It takes maturity to admit when we are wrong and to make a commitment to do better. Just remember, actions speak louder than words. I will, Dad. I will make sure to show you that you can trust me. That's all I ask, son. Now, let's talk about how we can make things right with the neighbors and prevent this from happening again. Yeah, let's do that. Thanks for understanding, Dad. Of course, Michael. We are a team, and we will work through this together.